Okay, hey y'all. Um, I just recently finished reading My Lady Jane, <clears throat> which is actually by three different people. And that was really impressive. Um, it's Cynthia Hand, Jody, I'm sorry. Well, actually, I was just slipping two names. Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Um, it was cool to read this by the three of them because I was wondering if I'd be able to tell where one author switched over to the next. Couldn't tell at all. There are different point of views in the book, and so I wonder if they each wrote a different perspective, but I, like, I could not tell that there were three different people writing this. It totally could have been one author, and that, to me, was very impressive. Um, it flowed, it was seamless, it was really, really well done. So this is very, very, very loosely based on history. Um, it's about, well, King Edward, um, Jane, his cousin, and <clears throat> all of the, just all of the drama that went on with that. So the authors, though, have taken tiny, tiny pieces of legitimate history and then rewrote it in a way that is much more happy ending and romanticized and also magical. They threw in elements of magic. So I really liked it. And I don't know enough about the true history to really talk about the way they connected things. And like I said, it's very loose. They even explain at the beginning of the book, this is gonna be very loosely based, right? They've totally rewritten everything. But again, three authors, right? That was like the most interesting thing to me. <clears throat> again, seamless, but they had this very snarky and involved way of narrating the book, which I thought was fascinating. Um, just at the very, very beginning, if I can turn to it, the pages are not cooperating. There's a prologue, right? And they straight up say, well, first they talk about the history a little bit. Then they say, pay attention. We've tweaked minor details. We've completely rearranged major details. Some names have been changed to protect the innocent or not so innocent, or simply because we thought a name was terrible and we liked another name better. So see, that's kind of where you see their starkiness the, as a narrator, the narrator's starkiness. So that was kind of funny. Um, and it wasn't just in the prologue that we saw that halfway through the book, halfway through the book, they had a mid log where the narrator slash author jumped in again because they called themselves the authors as they did it. They say, Hey, they legitimately said, Hey, authors here again. We just wanted to say, and they like give you some more stuff. And then they're in there at the end. And at the end, they came in more and more. They like jumped in and they were like, oh, but don't get too excited or don't worry about this one character. Like we're going to leave them for a while and you as a reader aren't really going to know where they are, but don't worry, they're okay. We're not going to kill them off. That would be uncool, right? They do these little interjections and it actually made the book really entertaining um, and very, very lighthearted, definitely. And they're dealing with a war story basically but it was never graphic and gruesome. Um, and they just kind of kept it funny the whole time, which I just really, really liked that. Um, the magic involved is people can turn into animals and it's just one animal. It's not like you can switch between a seagull and a dolphin and a horse, you know? Um, so there's one animal that you can change into. Not everybody has this gift. And so that was part of the war story was some people believe that that is a gift and others are like, oh, that's, not natural and you're weird and demon and whatever, you know? So there's that clash along with just typical governmental things. People wanting the throne and dethroning others and oh, I want power, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> but, but I like that element of the magical animalness to it. It was fun to see the different characters and the animals they are because it worked so well with their personalities. You can tell that the three authors put a lot of thought into this. Um, so that was, that was just cool. And of course we've seen stuff like that before where people turn into animals and back and forth and whatever. But the way they did it here was just very nicely done, flowed really well with the story, was clever. Um, that was good. I liked all of the main characters. Like I said, there's different points of view and you get these different things going on. You see things from King Edward's view, from Jane, the main character. Well, I'm calling her the main character because she's the title, you know, but really since there's three point of views, you've kind of got three. Um, and then there's Gifford. I hope I'm saying his name right. I think I am. <laughs> so um, jumping between the different perspectives, I felt like I knew each character really well. I understood their motives. I was like in, like I got it. Um, they were very deep, not really flat. Even side characters were not flat. People that we don't see for long periods of time had this embodiment to them. Um, 
there's one character, she's hysterical. You meet her towards the end, and I'm not gonna give away who she is, but she's not, she is important because of ways that she helps the protagonist, but she's not a huge player in the main part of the story, but she was so funny. And just in the little bits you get of her, you can just see her whole personality. You understand her backstory. She was just so great. I liked her a lot. And she was just this minor character who's only in the last like fourth of the book. So that was really well done. Um, I think my biggest takeaway from this whole novel was just the three authors successfully working together. That was it was really nicely done. Um, this was published, it's Harper Teen. Um, it, when did it come out? Because the new library has these little stickers that say no, new book, whereas my old library had months on them so that you knew like when it had come out. Because I like to try to stay on top of newer stuff. I think that's fun. And of course, I can't even find the publication date that, oh, 2016. That's all I know. That was last year because now we're in 2017, woo. That was, anyway. Um, but I do recommend this. I highly recommend it. My Lady Jane, it was funny, it was clever. Again, the flawlessness of the writing between three different authors. Do you know how hard that would be to like correlate things and be in sync with each other and compromise? I'm impressed. I am very, very impressed. And so the three authors, that was impressive. And then the snarkiness and funniness and wittiness, a lot of nisses, of the narrator. Um, that was very, very entertaining. It was a lot of fun. So, My Lady Jane, good book. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Keep reading.